Hugo Black Friday Tylko raz w roku Minus 25% Crowdgame.com So two days before Fan 31, Jonas Magar is our guest today. Hello, Jonas. Welcome in Poland. Thank you so much. Thank Your you. first time here in our country? No, it's not the first time. Okay, so tell us where, when was the first time? It's actually many years ago. Actually, when I just started MMA, like maybe I've been training two or three years. Nah, maybe one year. One year, actually. Okay. Yeah. Did you came here? Because my very, very good friend, he's from Poland, so yeah. And he's also the godfather to my son, so wow. yeah, yeah. So I've been in Poland many times. It's, it's very close to my heart, I must say. Fantastic. So how a Fight Exclusive Night found you and gave you the opportunity to fight here? So how they found me, it's like through my man management. So yeah, I'm under management and they contacted management and then my management contacted me. So. And when, when was the first contact and did they already uh, offered you a fight for the title? We didn't know it was for the title, but uh, yeah, we got, we got offered a fight and I said yes right away. And I think it was a decent opponent for me. I want big fights, good names. Um, so yeah. And then the, uh, like, the deal and everything came afterwards. Was it a surprise for you that they give you already a fight for the title? No, not really. No. <laughs> not really? No. I'm, I've been around and I've, I've been only fighting for the biggest events. Mm -hmm. So I'm ranked number one in Denmark, uh, in, in Scandinavia, uh, bantamweight, so that's where I want to be. What do you think about Sebastian Romanowski, your opponent? I think he's a good opponent for me. Very, very good opponent for and me. Why? I like his style, it fits my style very well, so yeah, it will be definitely be a good fight. What do you expect of this person when you come to the cage? I will expect a lot of heart, a lot of... Um, you yeah. will receive it, I know yeah. Sebastian well, so you will receive yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, a lot of heart and uh, he, he seems like a hard-working man. He is. Yeah. He is. Okay, uh, what do you know about FAN and when you gave, uh, then they gave you the opportunity to fight here, did you know this organization or maybe this was something new for you? No, I knew the organization a little bit, like it's, it's a very big organization and uh, like I think the Polish MMA scene don't get enough credits uh, in the European scene uh, because it's so huge here, it's so, such a big scene, um, but I had a lot, like my best friend is from Poland so I already knew about the MMA scene in Poland. So what organization besides FAN do you know in Poland? I know KSW, mm -hmm. yeah, and okay. FAN, that's the two biggest ones, right? And what about uh, your country? Do they know FAN? Do they more know more about this organization? I don't really think so. They're more like into k tourists and, 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 and the other European okay. scenes. Um, but in Denmark it's not such a big thing. They have like local shows and stuff. That's why I've been fighting a lot of out of Denmark. So. I always go to fight at other places. So, what sport is more most excited for uh, people in Denmark? Handball and uh, football. <laughs> We're very good at handball. Well, I can say that in Poland we also love football. The handball is also maybe basketball sometimes. But when I see how MMA is developing uh, since many years, I think it's like. 10 years maybe, when you um, come back to the time and see the first events, it was such a small event with almost no rules and very not very well organized. And now we've got a big branch of very good organizations like KSW, FAN, Babylon and uh, Army of Fight Night and other, other organizations. So do you think that FAN will be your last destination in, here in Poland or maybe you are thinking about some other? I don't know. Let's see what happens after this fight. It's, it's. Uh, I, I go. I really like the Polish scene. I really like the the the, the professionalism there is here, and 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 all the the credit fighters get. You know, you don't see that very often in other big organization in Europe. So, uh, yeah, we'll wait and see what happens. Do you feel well secured by the organization? Yeah, and I think actually. The Polish scene have like developed a lot because back in the days it was almost a lose when you came and fought in Poland. Yeah. 
like it was a bit corrupt and and it was always the Polish fighter winning and I think like uh, maybe the scene got bigger the the, 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 the 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 judges got more educated and, and all these things so it's easier for foreigners to come and, and fight in Poland as well and I think that's a very very important thing for the Polish fight scene We've got a lot of um, fighters in UFC. One of them uh, became a champion um, two months ago. What can you say about Jan Bachowicz? He's uh, also a hard worker, hard hitting guy. <laughs> but he's not really in my like vision because he's a heavyweight. Yeah. My my eyes is on the lower weights, bantam weight, and yeah, these guys. Okay. Okay. So, what can I wish you for those next two days? What you can what? What can I wish you? Wish me. Just wish me. <laughs> What would you say? Go win, but don't you there? Go and win? No. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> say it again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so have a good wind on your back. <laughs> on my back, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.